My name is Ben Moore. I work for a Natural Products Factory. I'm the Operations Director. Uh, traditionally, we have designed products that have had long lead times to source uh, raw materials and other inventories. Uh, going through the last 12 to 18 months, we have tried to uh, redesign our products and any new product development to um, include products, well, include inventory, raw materials that have short lead times. Uh, obviously we can't do that with, with everything. A lot of our raw materials come from quite uh, rare places and that sort of thing. So uh, the, our only other option is really to keep them on shelf and, and try and predict uh, volumes. Well, uh, of recent, we have made a couple of purchases in equipment and machinery. Uh, the, the first thing we look for is return on investment. Uh, you know, are we going to save money by buying this equipment? Are we able to maintain it? Are we able to run it? What skill sets do we need? That sort of thing. Um, the the Probably the, the most uh, significant thing apart from return investment is how much lead time and how, mu how much response time we gain by, by getting this type of equipment. So th the other things we've done is develop our own equipment to um, soak up short term demand and spikes, that sort of thing. Well, a big part of our revenue stream is uh, that we are a manufacturer for other companies. Uh, apart from our own brand, Nourish, uh, we have got a number of uh, joint ventures and white label jobs that we do to pick up uh, volumes, take advantage of um, scale of economies, that sort of thing. So it, it's not really on our radar to go and outsource Uh, well, as the operation director, I, I have come from a high volume automotive background working for a Japanese company who basically do wrote the book on continuous improvement. It's, it's something that I con continually believe in and like to make, uh, make part of our every day, even if they're very small little improvements. Uh, if, if the other employees come up with uh, ideas of improvements then you know it's it's a great thing it's fantastic it's a big pat on the back so um, how do we enforce it, it I, I don't want it to be something that is enforced I just want it to be a, a cultural uh, embedded cultural sort of balance where the guys are constantly looking for something to improve um, you know if they can't find something to improve in the process that they're doing then uh, we can we move on to the next process and hopefully they'll catch on. So it, it's not so much uh, enforcing it; it's more so making a part of their part of their job. So this is a big part of what we stand for at Natural Products Factory. Um, all of our NPD is innovative. Uh, a lot of the stuff we do, as far as products are concerned, have never been done before. Um, I believe that to, to gain a competitive advantage, manufacturing has to be just as good as your product as far as a differentiator. Um, so innovation is part of that. We need to make sure that um, we're coming up with new ideas, things that have never been done before. Often they're difficult to implement, often they're difficult to come up with these ideas. Um, so, you know, it's usually left up to the top sort of top part of management to come up with these ideas until we've, we've embedded it into the culture that, that guys, you know, the employees can innovate and, and, and have a go at things, even if mistakes are made, um, it, it's, it was worth a try.